In this video, you will learn the difference between primary, secondary, and tertiary sources in the sciences, and when to use each in your research. You can divide reputable resources into three main categories, primary, secondary, and tertiary. The definitions for these categories is different in the sciences and humanities. We will focus on the definitions as they pertain to scientific disciplines. Primary sources contain original research results or raw data. They produce new knowledge instead of presenting existing knowledge in a new form, and they may include studies that perform a new analysis on pre-existing data. The main example of a primary source in the sciences is the primary research article, which reports on the results of an experiment conducted by the author. Other examples of primary sources are experimental research results, conference proceedings, technical reports, patents, data sets, survey results, statistics, field work, and lab notebooks. Remember, with primary sources, the author will re be reporting on an experiment or research that they conducted. Secondary sources describe, summarize, analyze, and or evaluate primary sources. They are one or more steps removed from the information on which they are reporting. The main example of a secondary source is the review article, which summarizes the current research on a particular topic. Some review articles, such as systematic reviews or meta-analyses, use a more focused, reproducible approach to gather and analyze the primary sources used in the review. Tertiary sources are further removed from the primary source and reformat or condense information from secondary sources for general readers, or index, organize, and compile citations and show you how to use secondary and or primary sources. Common examples of tertiary sources are textbooks, almanacs, dictionaries, encyclopedias, and manuals. Should you use primary, secondary, or tertiary sources in your research? All three can be helpful. If you don't know much about your topic, tertiary sources are a great starting point to learn the basics and the vocabulary that will help you to find appropriate primary and secondary sources. Finding a secondary review article on your topic will do a lot of the background research for you and point you to the primary articles you want to examine in further detail. When citing ideas and concepts you learn from these sources, you should always track the idea to its original source, usually the primary research article, but sometimes the secondary review article if it presents new information gained from its analysis of the primary literature. When trying to determine if an article is primary or secondary, it's important to look for some key evidence. The abstract is a great place to start. An abstract is a summary of an article and will therefore give you an idea of what the article contains. Does the abstract mention the methods used for the experiment or how they collected the data as would a primary article? Or does it describe reviewing other papers as a secondary article would? For example, when looking at this abstract of a primary research article, it explicitly describes the methods used by the authors to conduct the experiment. In contrast, this abstract of a secondary review article specifically mentions evidence conducted by multiple investigators at numerous sites over the last three decades, which indicates the authors reviewed other primary sources for this paper rather than conducting an experiment themselves, making this a secondary article. Review articles won't always be so explicit in the abstract, they also won't be describing the particular methods used for a single experiment, as would a primary source. If you need help determining if a source is primary, secondary, or tertiary, contact your librarian.